Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.41 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the mass current method to find the power developed in the dependent voltage source. So for, for this one, right, this is the only dependent voltage source in the circuit. And we are asked to use the mass current method. Okay, maybe let's let's draw our loops here maybe this one here is loop i1 and this loop here is loop i2 and this loop here is i3 and let's take some notes from here okay out we have v phi here and that will equal to v phi is equal to that is i3 minus i2 right i3 minus i2 i3 minus i2 multiplied by 3 that is v phi okay now let's do kvl at each loop now let's do kvl at loop i1 Okay, and the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And we will have this 25 volt. Uh, and the current is going from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So the sign will be negative. Minus 25 plus, and then we have 2 ohm. Then multiplied by I1 there. And then here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I2. And then 5I1, so I'll have plus 5I1. But then I3 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I3 and then plus 10 volt. So I have plus 10, all of that will equal to 0. Okay, now I1 is coming from this one, so I will have 7 I1, and then I2 is only coming from here, so I will have minus 2 I2, then I3 is only came from here, so I will have minus 5 I3, then we have minus 25 plus 10, that will be minus 15, minus 15 moving to the right hand side, that will equal to 15. Okay, let's save this as equation number one. And let's do another KVL, but this time at loop number two. KVL at loop I2. Again, the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. And maybe let's start from this voltage source here and the sign is negative so I will have minus but then we will have minus 3 V phi as the magnitude and then plus 14 the only current that pass through it is I2 and then we will have plus 3 so we'll have I2 minus I3 Okay, and then we will have 2, so we have plus 2, and that one will be I2 minus I1. Okay, I think we run out of space. Let's move this slightly to the left, and we'll have all of that equal to 0. Okay, now we will have 3 v the v phi but then v phi is this one so we multiply this by 3 so i will have 9 we will have 9 i3 minus i2 here and maybe let's just copy that so i'll have 14 i2 plus 3 i2 minus i3 and then plus 2, I2, minus I1. Of that will equal to 0. Okay. Now, let's see. I1. I1 is only coming from this one. So, I will have minus 2, I1. Minus 2, I1. 
Then for I2, I will have minus 9. Minus 9 plus 14. That will be 5. And then 5 plus 3. That will be 8. And then 8 plus 2. That will be 10. So I'll have plus 10 I2. Okay. And then plus. We will have 9 I3 here. And the other I3 is coming from here. So 9 minus 3. That will be 6 I3. Right? 6 I3. Okay, I think that's all, and all of that will equal to zero, and this is equation number two. Okay, and I think we still need one more equation. So let's do KVL, but this time at loop three. At loop I3, again, the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this voltage source and it goes into negative terminal. So I'll have minus 10 and then plus 5 I3, but then I1 is going to the opposite direction. And then we will have 3 here. So I will have 3 uh, multiplied by I3, but then I2 goes to the opposite direction. And then finally, we will have 1 I3, so I will have plus I3. All of that will equal to 0. Let's move this 10 to the right-hand side. So I'll have 10 on the right-hand side. And then I1 only came in from this part, so I will have minus 5 I1. I2 only came in from this part, so I will have minus 3 I2. Then we'll have 5 plus 3, that is 8. And then 8 plus 1, that should be 9. That's 9i3. And let's save this as equation number 3. So we have 3 equations with 3 variables, with which we should be able to solve. Okay, maybe let's clean up the board and solve the equation. Okay, so far we got this three equation with three variables. Let's solve it the fastest way, which is calculator. Let's set up our calculator as our equation solver, which is number five. Three variables is number three. And okay, what's wrong? Five, three variables is number two, not number three. Okay, I will have seven, then minus two. And then minus 5. And then 15. Okay. And then minus 2. And then 10. And then 6. And then 0. Okay. And then minus 5. And then minus 3. And then 9. And then Okay, I1 is 4 ampere, so I'll have I1 is 4 ampere, which is a very nice number. Okay, and then I2, I2 should be minus 1, okay, I2 is minus 1 ampere, also a nice number. And what is I3? Where's my calculator? I3 is 3 ampere, 3 ampere. Okay, and what can we get from here? Yeah, this one, right? So we are asked about this power of this dependent dependent voltage source, right? So the power is just the voltage multiplied by the current. The current is I2, so I'll have I2. But then the voltage here is 3 V phi. The sign does not matter because this is power. So I'll have 3 V phi multiplied by I2. I2 is 1 ampere. So I will have 1 here. And what is V phi? Remember that V phi is I3 minus I2 multiplied by 3. Okay. So we'll have i3 is 3 and then i2 is minus 1 so i have 3 plus 1 
multiplied by 3. So 4, plus, 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 volt. Okay, so the power here will be 3 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1. So the power is 36 and the unit will be 1. And I think that is the answer for this question. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.